This podcast is brought to you by TeacherJobFairs.org. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a it's a balancing act of both. Um, the, because like one, like the demand obviously like of, of teachers uh, just across the board. Um, schools just need more teachers. Period uh, across the board. But um, what, what the data says about um, teachers that look, that mirror the identity of their students and how that relates to student uh, outcomes. And so like uh, for for me, um, I, as you kind of said, like I, I, I have uh, been in the classrooms, I've been doing t- teacher re- recruitment and really kind of understand like what the needs of the students first, right? Um, right. In those communities, but also like what, what, what makes a, a really good teacher? What, what makes a really effective teacher to be able to help support the needs of those um, particular schools? And so I think it's a, it, right now, the, uh, the reality of it, it, it's a balancing act of, of both, right? But re- really the bottom line is making sure we have good and effective teachers inside of all schools, supporting all kids and, and making sure um, kids are, are, are learning and thriving. So I, I, I really do think, think it, it right, right now, it, it's a balancing act, and that we're 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 really trying to fine tune our strategies um, and our approaches uh, to make sure, like we're we're developing really strong pipelines of uh, teachers that that are uh, supporting our our kids across the nation virtually. Okay, so in your in in the online industry, the the market demand for online tutoring tutoring before 2020 was growing. But families, of course, were hesitant to make that change of in-person tutoring to online tutoring. I think we weren't used to it as parents, and of course, as students, they weren't used to it. They weren't uh, used to it as well. Adapting that technology was slower. Then comes 2020, <clears throat> and the demand was massively accelerated, and it was now a must if you wanted to get an education. Um, it's actually estimated that online tutoring will grow to $7.37 billion by 2023. It's not only a market that is growing, but it's here to stay. So when you joined five months ago, what does it look like in iTutor? I'm sure it was different before you got there. Uh, mm-hmm. They were growing. They were slowly adding teachers. What does it look like now? Does it look like we need to hire double, triple the amount of teachers or does it look like we need to hire now to take control of the market, the market growth and take advantage of what is happening right now? What does it look like in terms of your job for as a, as a director of recruitment? Duh, I think that's a, um, that's a great question. Um, I'm, I got two responses for that. One of the things that um, I feel like there's a lot of joy in my job to hear a lot of the success stories that have come out of the pandemic for teachers that 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 were forced to uh shift to to virtual thinking i mean i'm sorry for virtual uh teaching you know i i know we hear a lot of uh almost like horror stories and like not 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 the best uh, outcomes all the time and the struggles i i guess i could say about uh the pandemic obviously but also like what that did for for uh education but like there there's really has been a lot of silver linings um uh, in being able to uh, teach virtually, and we hear that all, all the time. Uh, you know, some some of the th- trends that I hear from teachers um, mostly are, you know, I'm finding now like my, my my kids that were more shy and that weren't as engaging in, in classes. These are my kids now that, that are actually speaking up and like ha- have some, something to say. Um, I'm seeing that I'm, I'm seeing their outcomes uh, in, increase in terms of like grades and participation and things like that. Students that were that that, that were targeted. Or not, are not attending are like showing up more because of the flexibility that technology and teaching online um, pr- provides. I, I, I think those type of stories uh, don't get published and don't get enough noise as some, some of the, the, the other ones. And I think like things like that have increased the interest of teachers to teach online, whether it be full time uh, or like in opportunities like, like ours where, where it, it's flexible and it's part time and it's an opportunity for like supplemental in- income. Right. So um, I think that if, if you're asking the question of like, what, what does it look like? I, I think is that there's a growing growing number of, of teachers wanting to um, wanting to teach online prior that prior to the uh, pandemic. And so like for for us, um, of course, like, you know, school districts all across the nation are 
are beating down our, our, our door and like contacting us and like having conversations with, with us to, to understand like our products, our services, um, and seeing like how how can we help uh, solve gaps um, that not only that, that the pandemic has caused, but also some of the things that, that, that they were facing uh, prior. And so like um, we, we are seeing a lot more interest uh, in terms of a demand from the market, um, from, from school districts, school leaders in, in, in uh, school districts. Um, we're busy, right? Like we, yeah. we, we, we need teachers all across the board, all across in, in all of the, the uh, certifications. And it, it, it almost changes every day of, of the requests that we're and so I think like that's one of the um, another one of the things that the pandemic has has actually put pushed for us to, do, to be a whole lot busier, have a lot more fruitful conversations with, with school districts and school leaders. Now, in terms of uh, your your clients for iTutor, is it just school districts uh, in the U.S.? Is it also individual families, or is it school districts and individual families in the U.S. and, and worldwide? Yeah, great question. Um, you know, our our primary uh, businesses right now are school districts here in the uh, U U.S. So we sell we we only sell our products and services to school districts here in in the U.S. We do want to at some point be able to expand, but I I, I think that the the market demand here right now is so great that um, we haven't we, we haven't uh, uh, saturated the the uh, the market en enough to like say like we're going to go in international or. or or to like uh, other other countries uh, yet. Um, uh, when that happens, don't don't know yet. But like, we're, there's definitely a lot of opportunity that that we can support here in the U.S. First. 